What's up guys? Today's video we are going to be eating only festive foods for the entire day. So there are so many restaurants right now that have festive themed items on their menu that look absolutely delicious. Our first stop is actually IHOP and they have some limited edition French toast on their menu that look very festive so I am super excited to try it. So I will see you guys over at IHOP and we will get this day of festive eating started. Alright you guys so we have made it to IHOP. I am just waiting on them to bring me out my order. I actually have not had IHOP in so long. It has been a very hot minute since I've been here. A few moments later. Alright you guys, we have secured our IHOP bag. I actually had a pop inside of there to pick it up. Before I show you guys the French toast, let me tell you guys exactly what it's called. So we got the thick and fluffy ginger snap apple French toast. It says that it is two slices of thick and fluffy artisan bread dipped and griddled in our new vanilla cinnamon french toast batter then topped with spiced cinnamon apples ginger snap cookie crumbles red currants and powdered sugar so here is the actual french toast itself their french toast is huge look at that i didn't realize they gave such big french toast oh my gosh okay let's put the apples on the french toast first Ooh, oh my gosh, that looks so delicious. <laughs> okay, next up we're gonna put this on, which I believe is the red currants, and there's also whipped cream. Okay, then we have the gingerbread pieces, so we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle this all on there. Ooh, it smells super gingerbready. Mm -mm -mm. And then last up we have powdered sugar. Oh. Okay, <laughs> giant pile of powdered sugar, that's okay. And then of course the syrup, can't forget the syrup because syrup is an absolute must. Oh my gosh, this looks like a pile of heaven. So there we go, we got our giant pile of French toast. Okay, so let's get a good bite. I got some of the French toast, we got an apple, the red currants, Oh yeah, that is delicious. It tastes like an apple pie on French toast. Okay, one more bite for taste so I can get a really good, good opinion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 10, 10, you guys. Well, 10, 10. Mm, let me not be so generous. <laughs> I don't know, it kind of is a 10, 10. It's really delicious. This is a perfect festive item for the holidays. Mm-hmm. I also didn't realize they had such good French toast. Anytime we came to IHOP, I would always get their pancakes, but dang, their French toast is good. Mm. You know what would actually go perfect with this French toast? The cookie butter cold brew from Duncan. So I'm actually really close to a Duncan right now and I had tried it in my Duncan video where I tried all of their holiday items. I don't know if I messed it up or if Duncan messed it up. I'm not sure what happened, but something about the drink was not right. So I didn't get the full effect of the drink and I've been wanting to try it again ever since. So let's go to Duncan and get their cookie butter cold brew. And then yeah, we have some other items on the list as well. So I will see you guys over at Duncan. All right, you guys, we have made it to Duncan. So it's actually a Duncan and Baskin Robbins drive through together. Baskin Robbins is like ice cream and stuff, right? Hi, could I just get a small cookie butter cold brew? We don't have the cookie butter cold form, is that okay? <laughs> we can do the regular cold form. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so they don't have the cookie butter cold foam. So it says that it's a cold brew coffee sweetened with brown sugar cookie flavor topped with cookie butter cold foam and finished with cookie butter crumbles. So we'll still get the crumbles and the brown sugar cookie flavoring, just not the cookie butter cold foam. So I don't know. 
Hopefully it'll be close enough. All right, you guys, here is our cookie butter cold brew. So round two of giving this a try. I keep seeing people raving about this drink, so I really want to try it for myself. I know a lot of you guys in my Dunkin' video said I needed to actually stir the drink, so hopefully this will help it. <laughs> I also saw people saying add creamer, but I forgot. It's okay though. Hmm. Okay, the cold foam is really good. Even though it's not the cookie butter cold foam, that cold foam is so sweet and tasty. Let me get some of these little cookie crumbles. It's better than the first one I had at least, so I will definitely drink this and finish it. But, okay, so what is next on our festive food menu? All right, you guys, so the next item that we are getting is actually at McDonald's, and that is their holiday pie, which I have never had before, so I am really excited to try this. Thank you, McDonald's, can I check your order? Hey, good morning. Um, can I just get one holiday pie? Uh-huh. And that's gonna be it. Okay, your turn's gonna be 180, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, you guys holiday pie is secured and they have little festive bags oh my gosh what does this say season of sharing all right you guys here is our holiday pie oh my gosh it looks so delicious and very very festive ah, i cannot wait to try this <laughs> Tastes like a holiday cake. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, like a really yummy custardy holiday cake. Mm-hmm. I feel very festive eating this. <laughs> Okay, holiday pie from McDonald's. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. It's pretty good, very festive. Definitely try it if you have not had it yet. And then this Dunkin' drink, you guys, it's actually gotten really good. Once the cold foam fully melted into the drink, it's gotten very tasty. So I have been enjoying this. But I will see you guys back here for our next festive item. All right, you guys, we are actually at the grocery store Publix now. I wanted to come here to see what festive foods they have because I really want something salty and savory. And I feel like at these restaurants, a lot of their festive foods are just gonna be sweet items. So let's go inside of Publix and see what they have. I think later on in the day, we're gonna check out Target and Whole Foods, but I don't know, it depends what we find here. Okay, so I'm back in the car and I have secured my bag of goodies from the grocery store. So unfortunately, most of the items there that were festive were all pretty much sweet items. And yeah, I didn't get a whole lot, but I did get, oh, I got creamer because I needed to re-up on some creamer. So that is not a part of the video. But I found this, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be sweet, but I mean, it looked really cool and festive. So it's called Cookie Pop Popcorn and it's in the flavor ice gingerbread. And then I also got, okay, so at first glance, this is not gonna seem very festive, but to me, this is such a festive item. It is a mini snack tray, and like, this is just such a classic, in my opinion, for holiday gatherings, and whenever you have people over at your house, or even just when you're pre-gaming for the holiday dinner, we would always have a snack tray, and also, we would always get this kind of stuff for my dad for Christmas, except we would get him really fancy meats and cheeses. But yeah, you could just make a little cheese board out of this, and I feel like that's very festive, and I really wanted something salty and savory so we're gonna make this work let's go ahead and try our cookie pop because I'm very curious to see what this is gonna taste like 
Ooh, it smells very sweet and salty. Hmm. Okay. It's okay. Very subtle flavor. Would I buy it again? Definitely not. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably give it maybe a 5 out of 10. It's not awful, but I would say it's pretty mediocre. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to go home and pop this open, and then we will eat ourselves some little meat and cheese crackers. All right, you guys. So we are now back in my apartment, and I thought we could have some little meat, cheese, and crackers. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I wish I could just have a giant, juicy burger right now. Like, why is there no festive-themed burgers? I just want something super salty and juicy right now and just, ugh, it feels like all I've had today is sweet stuff, which basically I have. Yeah, everything has been really sweet, but it's okay. These should satisfy my little salty tooth at least a little bit. And then I also have these crackers, which are just good thins parmesan and garlic flavored i will try the cracker that this comes with first but i feel like it'll be really good with those little parmesan crackers so mm. it's not a burger but <laughs> it's still pretty good Okay, I'm gonna try it with one of these, which should be pretty good. Also, this is smoked turkey that this one came with. They had a few different ones, but I figured I would get this one because it was a little bit smaller. I didn't want anything too big. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're both really good. The crackers that it comes with are a bit more buttery, so this goes really well, but this has a little bit more flavor from the Parmesan and garlic. Pretty solid. I'm gonna definitely snack on this some more because <laughs> I'm just really wanting some saltiness in my life right now. But I also have these cookies that Gabe and I got, I would say maybe like a week ago. I have this elf themed. These are just the Pillsbury sugar cookie dough that you pop into the oven. But we have this one and then I'll also have a snowman themed cookie. So I think I'm going to make these tonight because these are definitely festive themed. And we're going to try maybe one more grocery store. I think I'm actually going to go to the world market. And then maybe we'll go to one more fast food spot or restaurant to see if we can find something festive. But yeah, let's see what we can find. You guys, I got so lucky at the world market. Look what I scored, some Christmas pastas. So I actually looked all over the store for something that I could cook and I was not seeing anything. And then I was about to check out with something else. And someone must have just randomly set this down because it was kind of near the checkout aisle and it was all on its own, but yeah. I scored them. So it just has some Christmas themed pasta noodles in it. And I'm also going to make it with this truff sauce, which is the black truffle arrabbiata. Arrabbiata. I think that's how it's pronounced. That's what it looks like. I love the truff sauce. It's so good. But I'm really excited to cook this because the thought of some yummy, salty, saucy pasta just sounds so good right now. And then we're going to make the sugar cookies after that. Okay, here is our super yummy holiday themed pasta and I'm just gonna put some grated Parmesan cheese on it and then we'll give it a try. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Oh. Okay, let me put you guys back up here. Can you see me? Okay, it smells so good you guys, but let me tell you that truff sauce, if you haven't tried that truff sauce, you need to try it because it is so good. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, yes. This is so good. I actually really like the textures of the noodles too. Mmm. This is hitting the spot right now because it's saucy and salty. This is exactly what I needed. Okay, this is actually the perfect dinner after eating all that sweet stuff earlier. <sighs> I just feel like my prayers have been answered. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish my little holiday pasta and I will see you guys for cookies. Okay, so I decided to make the cute little snowman cookies and look at them. Oh my gosh, they are so adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the oven. They only have to cook for 10 minutes, but I like to undercook mine. So I think I'm gonna leave them in here for maybe, eh, we'll try eight minutes. Okay, so I thought I would finish off the video in front of the Christmas tree, but we have our cookies. The only thing I am unfortunately missing is milk. I totally forgot to buy milk to go with them, but oh, I love these cookies. Even without milk, they are so good. So, cheers you guys. Mmm, I could literally eat all of these. So good. All right, you guys. Well, that was eating only festive food for the entire day. Let me know what you guys thought. How do you think I did? Obviously, there's a lot of festive food out there at fast food restaurants that I did not do. I've tried a lot of them in previous videos, and I also just didn't want to spend the entire day just getting different peppermint milkshakes. <laughs> so hopefully you guys liked what I did get. But if y'all enjoyed this video, please drop a thumbs up down below. If I don't see you guys before the holidays, I hope you all have a very happy happy holidays. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.